So we just arrived here in Kalambaka, which is famous for Meteora. I don't know if you can see up there behind me somehow. Uh, so it was pretty easy with the bus from uh, Ioannina in the pretty like winding roads. Yeah, I don't even, wouldn't imagine what they're gonna do in winter, but uh, so far it's okay. We'll see when we start exploring. Okay, so this is our apartment here in Kalambaka in Meteora. I mean, it's pretty big compared to the other ones where we stayed before. It's clean. There's actually two beds, so I think you can sleep up to three people or two small children, so before this is the bathroom it's all pretty clean, we pay like 50 euros a night pretty much but it's not bad in here there's like a small kitchen corner it's kind of oven with a triple burner on top of it it's a combo uh, fridge so a couple the teapot, stuff like that. That's okay. So we're here in Kalambaka, like at the foothills, so to speak, of the uh, Meteora rock formations. I mean, it looks like a small Swiss village, like in Greece. And it's really like peculiar that these rock formations are just here, in this part of Greece, and probably in the world. So it's really one of those unique things that you can see just in one place in the world, you know, it's like, you know, there's nothing like it, so it would be interesting to see how these people who built these monasteries and we're planning to walk up there tomorrow and see how they look like, how the hike is like, and we'll see. Okay, folks, we are here in Meteora, we're walking up the path with a guide and it should be like a short trip today we just wanted to see and have an explanation in English and maybe tomorrow we'll do by ourselves we'll see how it goes seems like interesting okay that's the one that we're gonna visit uh, and then from the great meteoro is the way back down so the whole hike is a loop we never go back the same way okay, so all of the all of the rocks have certain names the world in different places the thing is usually there are, there are books on high peaks you know you have to really try hard to, to reach a peak to find a book like that mm -hmm. so we will do it today <laughs> yes. this is what I wanted to talk about 
So this is a vulture that also passes from Israel. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There is a chance. Yeah. And maybe Buzz. Yeah. Buzz. Maybe the name is Buzz. Uh, the one directly in front of us is Varlaam. It's uh, mm -hmm. one of the four male, mo like monk monasteries. Uh, the second biggest one. Okay, folks, we're inside the monastery here in Great Meteora on Meteora. It's really nice. I suggest if you come to Greece, come visit it. If you like this kind of thing, like, you know, mysticism and, you know, history of the hermits and taking a nice hike. It's really cool. And it's only three years a person to get in. Okay, folks, first impression here in Meteora, in Greece, like, you know, the suspended monasteries. I mean, for sure, it's really, like, cool, it's really interesting to see, especially if you like, you know, spirituality or mysticism or, you know, how the hermits lived. And uh, if you like to hike, if you like history in general, it's definitely a good sight to see here in northwestern of Greece. UNESCO World Heritage Site, so it's pretty famous and took a nice walk today, so if you like all of those things that I mentioned, I would suggest you to come here and see the Meteora site. And then it just costs like 3 euros to get in, at least in the great uh, Meteora, that's the one we got into. So definitely if you like hiking and, and especially, you know, there's some tours that are uh, led by guides, that's the one where we did so that they lead like uh, some guides or the one, uh, the one guy that we went with today uh, they take you on some like less beaten path from monastery to monastery just like on a paved road and then you pretty much go up to the monastery and you go, you walk back down to the paved road until to the next monastery and so on so we took a walk, there was a nice loop, it took us like around uh, five hours, but obviously if you go by yourself it's free apart from the entrance fees in the monasteries. So you can stay as long as you want. It's just to keep in mind that some of the mon all of the monasteries actually they're closed uh, one day of the week. Every monastery is closed on a different day, so if you want to see a specific one, you have to make sure that it's open on that day. And that's about it. Enjoy if you come.